In this tutorial, I will explain how to automate your custom indicator, and we will create EA using arrow-based custom indicators. Using this tutorial, you can create EA from any type of custom or built-in indicator. And the best part? I'll show you how to combine these indicators to build killer entry and exit rules. You'll be crafting strategies that are perfect for your trading style. All right, let's dive in. For this example, we'll be using this custom indicator. Here are the inputs we'll be working with, and here are the buffers we'll be utilizing later. And here are the arrows created by our custom indicator. These are our signals for when to buy and when to sell. Now, let's get to the fun part, creating rules to place trades on these bearish and bullish arrows. I'm going to introduce you to LBM, a powerful trading tool that lets you define your exact entry and exit rules. You can create EAS using custom indicators, built-in indicators, order-based rules, candle-based rules, news-based rules, and much more. You'll see how easy it is to bring your trading ideas to life. And the best part? You can get started right away. Click the link below to download the free version of LBM. First, we will add the custom indicators information in the LBM. Click on the custom indicators button, click add and select the new entry. Here, we will enter the custom indicators name. Alias to reference it later. Inputs of the custom indicator, this part is optional. And lastly, the buffers of the custom indicator. In this indicator, zero is for the green arrow and one is for the red arrow. Now we can click test to find if everything is fine so far. As it is marking all arrows correctly, it means that the custom indicator is added in the LBM. And now we can use it like any other indicator. All right, let's get to the fun part. We're going to create rules to enter buy market orders on bullish arrows and sell market orders on bearish arrows. And we will also define TP and SL. Our stop losses will be set at the high or low of the candle and our take profits will be double that. Go to automation and add your first automation. In this section, we will add conditions. And in this section, we will define what we want to do when those conditions are fulfilled. Our buy entry condition is simple. We want to place a trade on a candle with a bullish arrow. Select the custom indicator section from the list and then find our custom indicator. Here are the parameters of our custom indicator. Buy buffer is already selected. So our condition is to check if the arrow exists. From the list of actions, we will select enter buy market as we want to place the buy trade. Here you can see the LBM marked the arrows based on the buy entry condition. From here, we will define our stop loss. I want to set the buy stop loss to be 10 pips below the low of the candle. And the stop losses are shown on the chart too. Now it's time to set the take profit for the buy trade. It will be twice the size of stop loss. It will be open price plus twice the distance to stop loss. This is the calculation for the take profit. The open price plus two times the distance to stop loss. The automation for the buy market order is completed. The EA will place buy orders on the bullish arrow with our custom take profit and stop loss. Make the same automation for bearish orders with similar stop loss and take profit. Automation for both buy and sell orders is completed. It is a fully working EA according to the rules we defined based on our custom indicator. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I will explain how you can add multiple rules for entry conditions. If we look at the signals, we can see not all of them are great and we want to filter out some bad trades. For this example, I will use the RSI indicator. Let's put it on the chart. Here, I noticed that the sell trades that were placed when the RSI was above 30 are mostly in loss. So I will add the condition that only places sell trade when the bearish signal appears and the RSI is below level 30 basically when the market is already oversold. Add a new condition in the sell automation. Select the RSI from the indicator list 
and set the condition when RSI is below level 30. Now we can see that the bad cell trades are filtered out. This is just an example. You can use any built-in or custom indicator for confluence, not only the indicators, but almost any type of condition, based on candles, opened or closed trades, news, time, price action, or anything else. Imagine this, you've got a brilliant trading strategy in your mind, but how do you know if it's going to work? With LBM, you can test it against historical data, tweak it, optimize it, and watch your results unfold in real time. Download LBM for free from our Discord, link is in the description, or ask me any questions on Telegram.